he didn't move the he didn't move the clubhouse guy. <laughs> Pictures. We'll soon find out. What else might be in here? Big part? Might be a cross, a crucifix. Very good. What else? Just guessing, because I don't know what's in here either. What might be in here? Words. 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 <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of words on the outside. In fact, right here it says Cornerstone Lane. This was the 1921 or 1920 newspaper. 
And it still says here, the cornerstone for St. Peter and Paul's school was blessed and placed in position by the right Reverend Joseph Strands, first Bishop of Toledo. Then they go through all the priests that were here, all the people that were here when that, that stone was put in and this was sealed. We're going to have a very special person for our parish, Betty Wattemaker. She knows so much about the parish, huh? Did you live through your entire life, Betty, pretty much? Yeah, your entire life, which was about 52 years. <laughs> but Betty um, has so much history and has got together so much of the history of our parish and our school. What a wealth, what a treasure. So then he's going to open this up for us, huh? And help us to see what's inside. And everything that's in here, we're going to keep right here at St. Peter and Paul. This is a medal, 
of St. Gaston, who is the founder of the Precious Blood. He wasn't even a saint then. The yeah. Medal of St. Gaston and Our Lady, the Precious Blood. I actually have a picture of this in the rectory. So it's on this one here. I think that's a right this one. Yeah. And this it is the uh, Miraculous Medal. You guys know the story of the Miraculous Medal. Mary appeared and said, Have a medal made with my image on it, and it will be miraculous. This is a, a medal of the Miraculous Medal. And then, a nice um, scapular of the Sacred Heart, the Apostleship of Prayer. Well, that lasted 100 years, and it's made out of metal. It's still there. Huh? So that's what's inside, boys and girls. What's the book? That's the history. Oh my goodness. This is a history book. This was the pastor then. Wouldn't he be scary? Uh, <laughs> actually, Father Frederick Shaw was the first pastor of St. Peter and Paul in 1873. Here's a picture of him. He's from the same place where I'm from. The same hometown, huh? So there's a history book in here. She can read it pretty well. Thank you. Oh my goodness, yeah. A lot of your ancestors, pictures of your ancestors who helped build the school, huh? So that's what's inside our time capsule. A letter from the pastor. Two holy blessed medals of Mary and St. Gaspar. The um, sacred heart of Jesus. And a very, very old history book of the parish, huh? So God bless you, boys and girls. That's what I was hoping there was money. <laughs> hey, we'll leave these out. You guys can go ahead and touch the book. It's very yeah? But we'll leave these out. You guys can come up and see them, huh? All right. Very good. <laughs> Some history background, yeah. so I'm like, 
I know who to talk to. <laughs> so, what an honor to be able to I know. help with this. Right. Yeah, so, first of all, what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, we found, um, goes from 1921, building of the school, found a letter from the pastor. Actually, the whole caps, capsule was wrapped in a newspaper from 1921. So there's a lot of just information just there. But inside was a letter from the pastor, a few words from Bishop Schrems when he um, dedicated the school. Um, two, um, two medals, one of uh, a lady, a Mary, and one of uh, St. Gasper, who's our patron. Um, and also um, a couple of emblems of the Sacred Heart. So it really it, it reflects the devotion of the people then and the people now, devoted to Mary, uh, devoted to Catholic education, and um, it was in there for 101 years, all in pretty good shape yeah. And, you know, part of the, uh, part of the letter too, we talked about the, the price to actually go the old school way. Right. So we're talking what? Uh, Six, well, uh, maybe 66,000. Yeah. No, they can only pay the heat bill for that, huh? <laughs> yeah, 66,000. They had it down to the, down to the penny. And, I mean, just the fact that uh, that's, the school was able to last that long, and the fact that you're in this brand new, beautiful building, it's just, just kind of talks about the spirit here in, in, in Iowa, how they kind of keep this building. Well, this Catholic education has been a priority of, of St. Peter and Paul, actually since and that's been the exact date. I think it was 1875 or 1876 was the first, the foundation of our school here at St. Peter and Paul. And it's been going strong ever since. It's been a, a real priority of the parish to, to keep the school growing and thriving. And, um, and we're growing to this day. And it, it's a great, it's a very, very valued and very important ministry to us. And that building reflects it. And boy, the people here, you know, it's fucking colony is going down. People get behind it, they're going to make it work. And that's, that continues, just like their ancestors. All those great traits, those virtues are being carried on today, and we're passing them on to our kids for the future. Too. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.